Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching this video. I hope you're all doing great today. A while ago, I published a video about dangerous airports and short runways. You should definitely check it out if you haven't already. And for your convenience, I will link it below. Anyway, most of you especially like the intro of that video. So I thought, why not make a dedicated video about one of the most challenging approaches into the Swiss Alps? Do you have any idea which airport I'm talking about? It's Lugano. Lugano is located in the Italian-speaking part of Switzerland, close to the Italian border near my home base, near my home, near my home base, Villa Malpensa. The elevation of the airport is 915 feet, which is about 278 meters above sea level. The only runway is 0119, and it has an available landing distance of just 1,310 meters. That is definitely not enough for a Boeing 737, but smaller airplanes like Cessnas and private jets can land there. The approach into runway 01 is extremely steep, 6.65 degrees or a gradient of 11.7%. Most jet airplanes can't perform such a uh, approach because even with the engines running at idle thrust and the flaps and landing gear down, the airplane would still accelerate above the approach speed. Another problem is the anti-ice system. It works on bleed air and the bleed air is produced by the engines. Engines running at idle power provides less bleed air pressure, which might be insufficient for the anti-ice system. There are three published approaches into uh, Lugano. An IGS steep approach for runway 01 and two localizer approaches for runway 01 with a circling approach for runway 19. I can talk about the approach and airport for hours, but let me just take you along instead. So today we're gonna fly the visual approach into Lugano. Welcome on board.
that's it. The parking brake is set. I hope you liked the view. So which approach do you remember best as a passenger or a pilot? I'm curious to hear about your experiences. Check out my Instagram for daily posts and stories about my aviation life. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Clicking the notification bell will ensure you never miss any of my new videos. As always, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye guys.